a high profile Houston critic of the 2020 elections is now facing felony charges after trying to catch voter fraud red handed. Dr. Stephen Holtz was hired numerous private investigators to sniff into the presidential election. Among them was a former Houston police captain who was paid more than $200,000 exactly one day after he's now accused of ramming into a man's car, driving that person off the road and holding that person at gunpoint because he suspected the man had hundreds of thousands of voter ballots hidden in his truck. It turns out none were there. So in addition to a million dollar civil lawsuit from that man, Dr. Stephen Hotze is now facing felony charges of unlawful restraint and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. But his attorney says that his client had nothing to do with it. He was not present when this alleged incident took place. He didn't know about it before. He didn't know about it till he heard about it on the news. And somehow he is a party to this. Now, as the Harris County District Attorney's Office makes their case against Dr. Hotze, I spoke with defense attorney and former police officer Charles Adams about vigilante policing and when investigating your own criminal mysteries can cross the line. Let's say the police suspect you of committing a crime. They can't just go up and ram your vehicle to stop you and detain you. They've got to turn on their overheads. They've got to make an attempt to lawfully and peaceably detain you. As a citizen, you have a right to engage in a citizen arrest if you can articulate a reasonable belief and then use the reasonable force necessary that there is a serious crime going on, right? What if defines a serious crime? Well, I mean, if you're having to protect someone's life, I mean, but I would suggest everyone don't do it, right? Call the police because there is no room for error. What about people who don't trust the government? Well, uh, I think that you should always record encounters with the government, right? You have a right in Texas to use your phone to record everything. But law enforcement is typically the best people designed to respond when you witness someone committing a crime. I get that there are concerns, especially in mental health episodes and other things. But mental health crises aren't typically what we're talking about. We're talking about someone like burglarizing a home or stealing something. And now if you see someone stealing something and you're a manager of a store, you have a right to detain them. And if they start fighting with you, well, that's a robbery. It's a theft that becomes a robbery. But again, you have to be able to articulate why you believe that they were, in fact, stealing. Uh, and, you know, and you see, because of concerns about liability, you see a lot of businesses just letting people steal nowadays. And I think that's horrible for America. So will he have to present evidence to show that the actions that he took or that his team took were merited or is there I don't think what you can, can he argue i don't think under texas law there's any way to justify even if you believe election fraud's going on how can you articulate the need to ram his vehicle with your vehicle right i mean you involve law enforcement and they can actually stop someone so bottom line, you do have some right to detain someone, but you're going to need to be ready to back it up. And use of force should only come into play if someone's life is on the line. Generally, Charles warns that it's not easy to successfully take the law in your own hands.